matchup with the Kansas City Chiefs. Here's the kicker, Harrison Bucker, ready to get this one started. And off we go for Cleveland. Now Donovan Peoples Jones. A dangerous return ball showing it here. Going up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. A first carry now for Nick Chubb. Chubb will have the first down and much more. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. A run for Nick Chubb. He might have gotten a yard. Yeah, I think he got a yard in a 41. No doubt about it. Really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. He'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37 yard line. That'll back about two yards and also bring up fourth. That's leaking to the right, and he missed it by a foot or two. It's no good, and this will remain a scoreless game. Well, this winds up in empty possession. Everything looked okay. He just never got the ball on target. And knowing him, he'll be disappointed with that effort. Mahomes now on first down. A quick throw, but incomplete. He's trying to get a little bit out of the backfield. I love what he can do with open space. And he completely influenced mismatches they can explore. The throw once more on second and ten. Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Here's Mahomes to throw. And finish Robinson. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. And again, it's Mahomes. He'll drop that off to Edwards Blair. Call the pickup of seven, and that'll bring up second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out front. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. And going to the air on the opening drive. They just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down at the 15-yard line. Not the kind of game that we're going to be crazy for, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and have Edwards and Lair and no center of gravity and strength. He's going to get those two pretty yards for you when necessary. Okay, they didn't bring that one all the way, but you got to know that he can take his right on the board. He's talking so good, he's talking about it right now. To the right side, it's Kelsey. And he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And now will get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three yard line. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job scanning up all the places and not allowing any lead. And he takes that same to the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Gerald Williams, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are going to take a first quarter lead. That almost looked too easy, and I think thanks goes to the offensive line for making it look easy. Yeah, I agree with you totally on that one. I'm not sure how much everyone understands the preparations that go into a game for an offensive line, because there's a reason that running backs and quarterbacks get their big gifts at the end of the season after a big year. 
the consistency and the continuity it takes to know each other and execute their blocks is pretty impressive. Turn up past the 30. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And they were in field goal range last time out but couldn't connect. It's early in the game, so I don't think that the confidence just goes entirely out of, you know, running your kicker back out there. Let's face it, some coaches have a little bit less patience for that than others. Let's see if they call the game differently now in terms of what they do on drives and not try and settle for field goals. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Now Mayfield. Finding the tight end over. That keeps good for five. It's third down. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rally to a quickle. And that's what you count on. And I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? If you catch it, you tell me what they're doing out on the sky. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to get that first down. And you tend to stall them out when you do that. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. He's got a group on the short connection. And he'll hold the defense to about the 35. Real short to line the game. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out. Hope you get your receiver ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively. And they stop him well short. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And not what he was hoping for there as this will get in the end zone for a touchback. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive they got on the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week of practice and meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up the score, that takes the crowd out of the game and puts them down in the minds of their opponents. Three yards to gain there, second down. Throwing now is Mahomes. Let's see Kelsey has it over the middle. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. That one good for 12 yards in a Kansas City first. Now the Mahomes. will find his running back, Edwards Alaire. That catch good for only a couple. I think you would agree. Just a good decision right there. Goes for the safe play, gets some yardage out. And shows some toughness as well. And as you noted, he stayed right in there. Solid rush is coming. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit, and another first down. Mahomes going to throw. There he goes inside the pocket, and he'll be taken down at the 26. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Good work after the catch gets him 15 in the first down. So many times in my career, great coaches talk about completions are one thing. As long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. If you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be on a lot of trouble. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive, and not as much running as we just saw once again on that last play. Stopped after a very short game. But I wouldn't have been able to run totally because otherwise, pass rush is just too off by your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Now, here's Mahomes. 
Four yards on a touchdown grab. And the Chiefs lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ball game. It's not much as perfect in football, but that's about as close to it as you're going to get. So go towards the punt, score again. And that drive impressive. The only drive was that last one was. Now on the other side, though, what's your psyche? You're really behind the eight. Though. You got to make sure you just hold in there. Survive the early storm. Relax a little bit and try to get back to your game plan. It's way too early for panic. Now after the touchdown, here's Bucker on the kick it away. Peoples Jones returning. Now Chris here as he's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. And now Cleveland gear up to take the field. They've been outplayed early, no question. Down 14 nothing already as they come up first and 10. And the Pro Bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. And now it's second down. To throw Mayfield.
Now the Browns offense, they get ready to head back onto the field. I guess they have to feel a little gratified to at least get on the board last time, but still work to do. No doubt about it. I wonder now if they're going to try to increase the urgency a little bit, maybe pump up the pace, maybe go two minutes. Who knows? to see what they decide to do. Yeah, with Jaron Reed, we got him down. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It's only a three-yard run. But from both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. I think the Chiefs have a thing to He was under the red survey, trying to find somebody to get the ball out of his hands. And in the meantime, the defense, they chuck it out of his hands. And when the ball snapped, I know exactly what the defense is thinking. Get a sack, put him on the ground. But when you can also knock the ball free while doing so, oh, there's the bonus for you as a defender. First and ten, it's Edward Jalera with him. Inside the 10 to the 7. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Usually we see runs like this as the defense breaks down later in the game, but this guy set the tone early, running through all types of tackles and put the defense back on its heels. This offense continues to be a hot night through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. And they get him down at the one. He had the broken tackle, but ultimately could not get into the end zone. He'll get six on the ground there, and it'll be second and goal coming up. They'll run. Here's Burton, the fullback. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Mike Burton taking it in from a yard. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. First quarter, and this lead is already getting into dangerous territory. You better be careful on the other sideline. Yeah, it feels a little bit more like a basketball game where one team is pressing, and that team can't get the ball over half court. I mean, it's stealing it, it's scoring it, layups, the whole deal. That's what it feels like right now. They are all over. Now after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. A fairly short kick from the 15. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. Heading out to Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions. And it's picked up by the Chiefs. And he has brought this one back. A fumble recovery for a Chiefs touchdown. Second time he's lost a fumble. This one hurts more. It's returned for six. He's been under a lot of duress, hasn't he? Pressured, hurried, harassed the whole game. Well, the offensive line not giving him a lot of help. Not a lot of help, but the bottom line, he's got to take care of the football. Extra point right down the middle. And the route is on here in this first half. So not only the cough up, but then the pickup on the other side, the scoop, and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're reaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. A fairly short kick from the 14. A good looking return set up here. Ready to take over again on offense. Out comes Cleveland. And let's just say they're going to be looking to start over on this drive. A few moments ago, they were in the exact situation, but their first play led to a fumble that was returned for six. Yeah, you definitely have to have a short memory to play in the NFL. You got to remember what you did wrong so you don't repeat it. But you can't throw it on it because then you will repeat it. And that's what you don't want to do. 60 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And it will out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Again, running right is Chubb. Chubb will have a first down, and that's more. 
set to take over Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes, no interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead, and they feel really good about how they're playing. I think he expects it to at least a lot. I was going to say, now he wants the first half trip over the Without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Good work after the catch. Gets him 15 and a first down. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to get him on the ground. The throw with a middle taken in. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. It's another first down as they light up 23 more on that one. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? And Marvin right now is just tallying it up. But his hand doesn't hurt as he wants to do a pencil. He keeps it in the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is on to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Throwing again on second and 10. Mahomes. That's out to go, right side complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 18. 19 yards to pick up there, move the chains. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. A shotgun snap and a game to over his away. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. Jadavian Clowney there on the stop. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with 31. And the Chiefs on third down. They've been okay. Two for three last week. Here it's third and two. He can't. And he's going to fall his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards away. A nine-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Well, they were looking to pick up the first down and third and short. They got a little more than they bargained for, finding the end zone as well. And oftentimes in short yardage situations, you get a lot of defenders stacked in the line of scrimmage. So if you can get past that first wave, there's usually room to roll. And he found it. Now after the touchdown, here's Boyko. JoJo Nansen now on the return. And this return sets up pretty good here right at the 30 yard line. Cleveland offense making their way out. And they had the touchdown during the last drive, and I'm guessing that you like the balance they had on that last drive. And I loved it. Forget liking it. Absolutely love what they were doing because. To be ahead of the defense that much, every play call you have, run or loss is right front. And he fires one that's intercepted. It's the honey badger, Tyron Matthew. And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. Boy, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there. But they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. This is taken in by Hill. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their base right now. They have fire under these guys. They got to start playing better at some of the footballs and start getting guys on the ground. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. But for that one in the big con for the defense. Trying to contain tight ends in the passing game is so difficult nowadays, but they did in a big way there. Now the homes on the bootleg. That's who is running back, Edwards and Lamb. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 12-yard line. 
A nice pickup of 17 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and broad. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Get it to the back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a match up again. And it's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. Travis Kelsey. There to make the grab. And the Chiefs continue to pull away here in this first half. What a great weapon. So often, such a big mismatch. And there's no route he can't run. You name it, he's going to do it. And he's a matchup nightmare for the defense. And who they put on him, he's going to win the battle. Point after, right down the middle. And a route is on here in this first half. Now after the touchdown, here's Parker on the kick of the play. Peoples Jones returning. And a good return is going to be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 